안녕하세요, 여러분. 네. Jeff, hi Jeff. And 오마르님 정말 오랜만이네요. 잘 지내셨나요, 오마르님? 엔도비아님 좋은 아침입니다. 네. 링메리님, 오, 계약했죠? <웃음> 네. 토요일이니까 그래도 꼭 오셨네요. 네. 바, 음, 반갑습니다. 그 다음에, 제인님, 나, 안녕하세요. 하이. 곤차라버님, 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 레이님, 문태일님 오랜만이네요. 네. 반갑습니다. 앤 아리샤님, 안녕하세요. 예. 네. 모두들 환영합니다. 네, so, uh, this is uh, weather so nice in Seoul or Korea. Like, 요새 날씨가 너무 좋아요. 그래서 기분도 좋은 것 같습니다. 네, 바로 수업 시작할게요. 그러면 <웃음> 고문이에요. <웃음> 네, 메리 비님 안녕하세요. 캐리님 안녕하세요. 네, 모두들 환영합니다. 네, 오늘도 수업 즐겁게 하셨으면 좋겠습니다. 즐겁게 지, 아, 들으셨으면 좋겠습니다. 가자! 네, let's go! Week number 94, 아흔 넷째 주, 2022년 9월 3일 네, 한국어 단어 수업을 시작하겠습니다. 네, 얀네님 안녕하세요. 네, 오늘의 첫 단어는 젊은이, 젊은이. 지금 한국은 9시예요. 9시 1분. 네, by the way, 젊은이. Like, you know, the pronunciation. Um, like this double, double consonant, I'll say. And this, since this one is Eun, you know, this mium goes to this way. So, 절, 무, same thing here. Yes. 젊은이, <laughs> 젊은이. That's the way we pronounce. And do you know what it means? 젊은이. This word, uh, people in younger generation don't really use this one. Only, pretty safe to say only older generations like, yeah, 젊은이. And when they recall, when they refer a person who is young, yeah, 젊은이, 젊은이. Or some stranger, when old guy call a stranger who seems very young, then he or she can use that word, 젊은이. By the way, 젊은이 둘이, two 젊은이, so two young persons, a little time, uh, a little ago, passed by. Uh, I was here, and two younger persons just passed by here, uh, just some moments ago. That's what it means. 젊은이 둘이 좀 전에 지나갔어. And 이봐, like look, 이봐 is like look here. 이봐, like. Uh, something you don't really use to a stranger or older guy, you know. 이봐, you know. Okay, so I just give you some explanation about it. Uh, 이봐 is short from 이것봐, 이거봐, or 여기봐. Uh, 이봐. 음. 오, 여보게. 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 It's short from 여기. 보게. Look here. Like when you call someone, hey, look here. Something like that. So, 이봐, 젊은이. It's like some older person is calling a younger person. Like anyone. If he's stranger or if he knows that guy well or not, it doesn't matter. Just you can. Use this one. 이봐, 젊은이. Something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, first word, 젊은이 means young person. Yeah, simply. 꼬맹이. Oh, 꼬맹이 is more like kid. Very, like, like five years old, seven, six years old. Like kid. 꼬맹이. <laughs> And sometimes 꼬맹이 means very short person. I <laughs> say, who is not tall. You can use 꼬맹이 too. But usually, well, originally, 꼬맹이 means very young kid. 5시 반이에요? 아침 5시 반입니까? Uh, I think probably. <laughs> Excuse me, young man, young lady, something like that. 젊은이, 젊은이. Uh, usually, it, to a male person, usually, I think. 
Choi Muni. Sounds like that. Somehow. That, oh, that, was, oh, that was very good. Oh, it's not really a question, but still, yeah. Oh, usually, it's usually more like a male guy, I think. Choi Muni. Choi Muni, I think. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the first one. And second one is Hubo. Hubo, have you heard of it? We have five examples. Tashiban, Yogirang, Neshigan Ban, Seshigan Ban China, Seshigan Ban China, Odiji, Indo, Nepal, Joginga, Tai Borisinda, Gislani Nim, I missed a lot of your lives because in my, I'm busy with work. Oh, yeah, I'm busy, but still, you show up, I'm very busy. Thankful for that. I hope you have fun during the uh, learning together. 반갑습니다. 네, 후보, candidate. Yeah, it can be like candidate. Like 대통령 is like president. When you vote election, when there's an election of a president, then there are 후보s, candidates. So 대통령, 후보. 후보, who is going, wanting to be or trying to be a president, then 대통령 후보, 후보, and 우승, like champion 후보 is like, uh, okay, I, I guess you know what it means, like, let's say there's a tournament, like eight teams on the tournament, let's say, and let's say this team is likely to be a champion, then 우승 후보. Maybe one other team is 우승 후보. Like, who, who are likely win a championship. Something like that. That is 우승 후보. Very strong team. Mm. 우승 후보. <laughs> 홍 후보, I really wanted to win. Oh, the last one? Oh. <laughs> Mm. I'm okay with the Yun, Yun won. I, yeah. Anyway, 우승 후보 and you know Oscar trophy, Oscar award, you know, Academy award. In other words, yeah. 오스카상 후보를 소개하겠습니다. It's like I will introduce or let me introduce. In this case, like nominee, Oscar nominees. Uh, 후보 itself is a, a singular. But you know, in Korean, there's no strict rule about singular part, uh, plural thing. You know, so when you translate this one, you can say this one is a plural. <laughs> so let me introduce you the Oscar nominees. Mm, that's the way we pro uh, translate. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Indo, yeah. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> about around there should be. <laughs> <laughs> 네. So, uh, by the way, 후보, usually for a person, but when it comes to 후보, 작, when it comes to a artwork, a movie, or song, music, or whatever, or paint, painting, no? 후보, 작, 오스카상, 후보, 작, when it comes to a movie, movie title, you know, then, no, when the movie itself becomes a nominee, then you say, 후보, 작. Yeah, 작품의 작, 맞습니다. That's right. 음, 맞아요. 네. 작품. <웃음> 오현주님, 안녕하세요. 김윤희님, 안녕하세요. 모두들 반갑습니다. 네. And, 올림픽 후보지. Can you guess? 후보, and G is the right, uh, the right form. Is a, a sign of Korean that means land, territory. So, 올림픽 후보지. Can you guess what it means? Olympic Huboji. Mm. 
let's say uh, the city, Toshi, in another Toshi. No. When these two cities try to help the Olympian, they applied, and both cities are Olympic Huboji. Maybe um, they're gonna vote for who, uh, which city is become the Olympic city. The last um, next one or something like that is Olympic Huboji. So Hubo candidate, nominees, or contender, like champion contender in a way, it can be like that. That is Hubo. Okay. And the next one, Kwaje. Oh, do you know what it means, Kwaje? Kwaje is simply Sukje. 과제, 숙제, very very similar if not the same. Yeah, 과제, homework. Yeah, that's homework or just homework. Yeah, simply homework. Usually, um, okay. The nuance is different between 숙제 and no, uh, 과제. A little different. 숙제, 과제. It's like 숙제 is normally used, more likely used in elementary school or something like that. And 과제 is more likely used in universities. <laughs> simply, just simply. Mm. But some people, are, I'm familiar with this 숙제 word, so uh, personally, I usually just use 숙제, but you know, it doesn't really matter. But I mean, yeah, the, the nuance is different. Assignment. Yeah, quad is like assignment. That's right. That's the word I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. Thank you, Mary Bin Nim. What is my in Korean police? Um, oh, oh, that's a good question. Ne check or te check. There are two ways to say my. 네, which is derived from 나의, short of 나의, 나의 책, or 제, which means 어, 어, 저의 책. It's like uh, 나, you know the difference between 나 and 저? Like 나, so, something that you use you, with your friend. And 제 책 is the way we, you say usually to be humble to an older person. No, check my both mean my book. Mm. Mm. And 과제 can be like a problem to solve. It can be like that a issue, a problem that we have to solve together, or something like that. 친환경 uh, like uh, environment friendly energy energy. Uh, 개발 is like between develop or invention, invent, new technology, something like that, or improve, develop. So developing a development of uh, environment, environment friendly energy, like eco energy, is our 과제, problem to solve, something like that. So 과제, problem to solve or assignment, homework. That's what 과제 means. You're welcome, Kim Yun, Yun, uh, Kim Yuninim. Yun, yeah. <laughs> is 숙제 used more often? Uh, personally, yes, and more often in the younger, uh, in the elementary school. Uh, 숙제. 숙제. And in this case, 친환경 에너지 개발은 우리의 숙제이다. It's fine to use. Uh, it's fine to use. Um, 숙제 and 과제 is. is usually interchangeable in almost every cases but the nuance just a nuance 과제 sounds more heavy heavier in a way mm. 
That's the only difference I can say for now. Duty. It can't, can't be like duty in a way. But, but anyway, more like problem to solve. Something that we have to pro, uh, solve. Something like that. 도전. 도전 is more like challenge. Challenging. 도전. Okay, okay. 과제 is the something that you have to do. 도전. You just want to be there. 도전. Like challenge. 도전. Hey, I'm going to do that. Change. Like challenge. You know, challenge. So 도전 is different. 선생님, 뭐뭐에 대한 에 대해서 에 대한 사용법을 가르쳐, 가르쳐 주세요. 어, 그 문법에 대해 공부하고 있어서요. 뭐뭐에 대한, 뭐뭐에 대해서, 뭐뭐에 대하여. 어, 오케이. 저 뭐뭐에 대한 음. 뭐뭐에 대한 about this blah blah blah, you know. It's like and 뭐뭐에 대한 after this 대한 then no noun is used. Um, noun comes after 뭐뭐에 대한 something. But 뭐뭐에 대해서 뭐뭐에 대하 어 대하여 it's up the meaning is the same like about something about something okay 뭐뭐에 대한 책 과학에 대한 about science 과학에 대한 책 a book about science a book about science that's what it means. And 뭐뭐에 대해서 and 뭐뭐에 대하여. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. For now, it seems about the same. 뭐뭐에 대하여. You do. I did. Or he did. Something. Something like that. 뭐뭐에 대해서. You did. Something like verb. Mm, maybe. Some. Like verb included. Usually. Just verb. Simply, verb should be there. 뭐뭐에 대해서? 뭐뭐 했어? Uh, like example. 단어에 대해서 공부했어. Uh, 단어에 대해서 공부했어. I stu studied, I studied about words, vocabulary. 단어에 대해서 공부했어. 단어에 대하여 공부했어. You can use this one too. But I don't know. This one sounds seems to be more oftenly used. I guess <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But yeah, the, just for now, that's the thing I can say to you. Mm, responsibility. It's something like that. Yeah, responsibility. Kind of. 언제 과제 해야 해? 과자 먹다 과자. 과자 is a snack something. <laughs> it looks similar. 그 문법에 대해서 공부하고 있어요. Oh, that's that's a perfect one. <laughs> that's good, Noviannim. Very good. <laughs> 네. So 과제, simply like homework. And 근거, 근거. Oh, 근거. Mm, do you know what it means? 근거. Okay, when you try to persuade someone or when you try to explain something for, to someone, you know, uh, when you want to say something like, hey, this is this, then there has to be a reason or grounded basis, something like that, you know, that is 근거. 근거. When you try to persuade, when you try to Convince someone, you know, 근거. Like, 무슨 근거, what 근거, with what basis, what ground, you know, foundation. Uh, like, it's, how can you tell that? Simply it means, practically it means, how can you tell that? 무슨 근거로 그렇게 얘기해? How can you say like that? With what kind of 근거? What kind of fact, basis, 
grounded foundation something like that 무슨 근거로 그렇게 얘기해 how can you tell like that 음. 내가 보기엔 the way I see it the ground the fact or the foundation is lacking not enough like someone try to convince this but it seems like that's not true or something like that yeah 내가 보기엔 근거가 부족해 not really convincing or something like that 근거 원인 uh, I think 원인 uh, sounds different to me and 근거 and 큰거 is different <laughs> it could be even translated 근거 as proof in certain contexts I think so yeah. <laughs> big one <laughs> 근거 내 남편이 바람둥이입니다 근데 전 근거 없어요 oh, I don't have any uh, proof or something like that yeah. 근거 바람둥이 바람둥이 is like who who cheats on you <laughs> like all the time so that it 바람둥이 근거가 없어 I, do, I don't I never saw, saw him doing that and I'm not really sure but I still I think he is 바람둥이 then but 근거 is lacking you know <laughs> no not evidence evidence is lacking something like that but evidence 증거 증거 is evidence 증거 근거 is usually when you have a conclusion okay conclusion when you have a conclusion hey this is this then you need 근거 to prove you know mm, that is 근거 mm, 증거 is more like evidence is more like hey, I didn't do that or I did that that um, the something you can prove is 증거 I did that I didn't do that but when it comes to hey this is this the fact is this you know truth is this then uh, usually 근거 mm, maybe same call is used I think probably <laughs> anyway 내가 보기엔 근거가 부족해 법적 근거 oh legal uh, legal ground legal foundation I need or we need legal ground well ground something like that legal I forgot <laughs> 법적 근거 uh, computer is slow legal basis it says legal ground logical ground oh. Logical is more like knowledge, by the way. Okay, so 법적, legal ground, legal basis. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Omar. 증거물. Oh, 물 is a thing in, like, object, thing in uh, Chinese character. So 증거물, like, visible thing. 증거물. But we don't say 근거물, by the way. <laughs> Just 증거물. And 그건, that one is 근거 없는 얘기야. You know, uh, it's hard, hard to believe that. Uh, not really convincing. You know, that is a story without any basis. That is a story without any you know, ground or something. 그건 근거 없는 얘기야. So 근거 like basis, ground, something like that. Mm. And the next one is 기록하다. 기록하다. Mm, what does it mean? 기록하다 mm. uh, 근거와 바탕 근거 is something like uh, to say this you have, you have to have a root Something, <laughs> something that is 근거, you know. Batang is just a, it's simply just background. Mm, where he was born, or his, he used, he grew up in a, some kind, what kind of family, or maybe the, the situation, situation, it was like that. That's a patang. So it seems different to me. Yeah, two, 
record to record to like to write down or to write to or tape on a videotape to record on a, but with a like sound recorder 기록하다 but when you record on the tape like a sound tape then 녹음하다 녹화하다 uh, when you film a video 녹화하다 is more likely used but you can also use saying 기록하다 but 녹화하다 is more way more commonly in that case 기록하다 usually just write down usually write down on paper or notepad or something like that 기록하다 음, 지금 나온 얘기들 중 얘기들 종이에 기록했어 it's like when two guys or two party are say or have a like blah 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 and then he, and this guy they say blah 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 and the other guy said blah 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 like like these words came out from their mouth you know <laughs> because now on the thing that we have talked something like that that's 지금 나온 얘기 like now we had a conversation for several hour or several minutes 지금 나온 얘기들 the thing that we have talked now 음, 종이에 기록해서 I wrote down on the paper 음, that's what it means 지금 나온 얘기들 종이에 기록했어 keep a record or something oh that's right very good name that's right 근거 없는 얘기인데 왜 그렇게 믿어 쟤는 바람둥이야 근거 없는 얘기인데 그걸 믿어? Do you believe that one? That is without a ground Do you believe that one? 근거 없는 얘기인데 그걸 믿어? You can say like that maybe mm, He is 바람둥이 <laughs> To document Oh, I guess, yeah, that sounds about right uh, To document I kept a record of our conversation So yeah, that's, that sounds about right I kept a record or I written it can be like I wrote all the conversation mm, it can be like that too and sometimes uh, like in the Olympic Games you know the fastest record was this but some champion broke that record a new record uh, so world new record <laughs> some athlete recorded a new world record world record <laughs> 세계 신기록을 기록했어 mm. you say 기록하다 in that case as well and 아무도 알아보다 is like recognize but um, the 암호 itself password but the like something like in the text that nobody will recognize I will write down with a text something like that that I can only I can read <laughs> like the in the text in a like um, originally it means password but it's in in this case it's more like a text that nobody will recognize nobody can read something like that 아무도 알아보지 못하는 암호로 기록할 거야. Oh, he said a new word record. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it can be like code. Yeah, that's right. It can be like code. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, Eve. And 판매 금액. 판매, like selling. 금액, like amount of money. When you say, well, when you sell this item and this item, this item, Mm, I record, I wrote down all of them, 전부 판매 금액, about the selling amount of money 판매 금액을 전부 기록했어 So to write down and you keep that one, you know, 기록하다 And the next one is 다가오다 mm, Something about 오다 mm. 다가오다. Do you know what it means? We have four examples here. Mm. 
approach to come maybe somewhere in between or maybe both okay 다가 오다 다가 가다 okay uh okay when you when you approach to someone else then you say 다가 가다 when someone approaches to you then someone 다가 오다 and that's the difference between this 다가가다 and 다가오다 음, 오다 means to come by the way 다, 가다 means to go so you can um, guess simply easily I guess so 다가오다 and 다가가다 so 다가오다 someone is approaching to you someone is coming to you approaching to you 다가오다 so 어떤 사람 it's like some people some random guy or some just some people. Some people 다가와서 길을 물었어. The last one is, is in a past tense. So, some people approached me and asked about the road, direction. Hey, how to get to the bank? How to get to the subway station? Yeah, someone asked me that. 어떤 사람이 다가와서 길을 물었어. Mm. And 가을, autumn, fall, like the season. 가을이 다가오고 있어. Oh, the fall is approaching. Yeah, it's September, so <laughs> 가을이 다가오고 있어. 어느덧, 어, 어느덧 is like uh, somehow, so, not, not really somehow. Like the the time is passing by constantly. You 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 didn't recognize, then you recognize. Oh, like it's it's approaching. <laughs> That's on the dot. Yeah, autumn, the fall. Songkum, a lot approaching. Like, fast me already. Songkum, <laughs> 다가왔다. Winter is coming would, would be a good example sentence. Yeah, uh, winter is coming. 겨울이 오고 있다. 뭐, 다가오고 있다. Uh, just 겨울이 오고 있어. 겨울이 다가오고 있어. Pretty, pretty much the same thing. But 다가오다 sounds more like nearly approaching, you know. Nuances. As for the nuance, 나는 이 대구 사람 다가가가 하다. I don't know what you're saying about Mary Bini. 다가오는 기말 시험이어서 요즘 도서관에 자주 가요. Oh, it's more more natural to say 기 어, 기말 시험이 다가오고 있어서 maybe. 기말 시험이 다가오고 있어서 음. 기말 시험 like 어 기말 시험 미 다가오고 있어서 or 다 코앞 이요 코앞이어서 in front of your nose 코앞 really approaching yeah really close to you um, 코앞이어서 that's, that's all 코앞이어서 you can also use this one 코앞이어서 either way maybe this one is more commonly used I guess um, 가가가가 대구말 경상도? maybe 대구? <웃음> 경상도 말잘 아시나요? by the way 전 사투리 잘 몰라요 <웃음> 네 and oh, 다가오는 금요일. Simply upcoming Friday. 다가오는 금요일. <laughs> so let's see you. Let's meet or let's see you on the upcoming Friday. That's what it means. 다가오는 금요일에 만나자. And 지나치다. It's like passing by. More, something is excessive. Something like that. Exceed some point so 지나친 kindness 친절 like kindness is too excessive 부담 we have learned several weeks ago uh, it came like burden b-u-r-d-e-n burden uh, so 뭐뭐할 때가 있어 it's like it happens sometimes it can it is like that it happens something like that so sometimes excessive kindness 
can be approaching as a burden. It's like you feel a burden sometimes when someone being treat you with too much kindness, you know. It, uh, the sentence means that 지나친 친절이 부담으로 다가올 때가 있어. So that uh, this one approaches as this burden. So <laughs> 맞네. <laughs> there's, there's a what the tonation in 경상도, which I really can do. I'm very bad at that. Mm. Anyway, so 지나친 친절이 부담으로 다가올 때가 있어. So 다가오다, uh, approaching, coming, approaching. Mm. And 불다. Um, do you know what it means? 불다. We have oh, six examples here. Mm, I was kind of surprised. Bula. Uh, we use Bula a lot, but it ranked like 1107 <laughs> somehow. Maybe in spoken language, Bula is more likely, more oftenly used, probably. Anyway, Bula. What does it mean? Burn. Burn is Tada. To blow. That's a bl to blow things. Or when wind is blowing, or you can also say 불다. So, <laughs> 신선한 바람, a fresh wind is blowing pleasantly. 신선한 바람이 기분 좋게 불어. Mm. A fresh wind is blowing pleasantly. And 변화의 바람, wind of change, is blowing. Uh, 불다 is not only physical wind, it can be like a trend, something like that. Mm, trend, 유행, you know, fashion, fashion, trend, or something like that. 변화의 바람, wind of change is blowing. Mm. And 휘파람 is like whistle, like whistle. So, 누군가, and 가, this, the 가 is a particle, like somebody and the particle 가. So, 누군가가 휘파람을 불고 있어. Someone is blowing a whistle. Mm. And when 불다 is used with the music instruments some such as trumpet, clarinet, saxophone, or flute, something you like, to, uh, you make a sound with blowing by blowing, you know. Then you you can also say 불다. So this guy's this guy plays clarinet and this guy plays trumpet that's what it means 얘는 클라리넷을 불고 얘는 트럼펫을 불어 대금 oh, old traditional Korean traditional flute 대금 대금 불기 like playing 대금 2020년부터 한국어를 공부했어요 와우 wow, 공부 아주 네. 잘하고 계시는 것 같습니다. <laughs> Korean at the level of a two year oh two year old. <laughs> okay. Mm, two year old. Um you can improve, don't worry about that. If you're worrying about that, yeah. Just enjoy your journey. And then this one, 누가 시켰는지. Oh, in these two cases, 불다 means like, hey, say the truth, don't hide, like, <laughs> reveal it, something like that. Something that, like, policeman might ask to a uh, 용의자. 용의자 is something like that. Ah, I forgot the word. You know, when someone seems to be a criminal, you know, police ask him, hey, what happened? Or who, who did that? Or 
who ask you to do that? And like to make something spill it? Oh, sounds about right. Spill it. Like confess. Hey, confess. <laughs> a suspect. Oh, suspect. That's a, that's a word. Yeah. Hey, say that. Don't hide. You know. Bro, say. Like pull is more like blowing, but you know, blow, blow your mind. <laughs> sounds a, a lot different in English, by the way. <laughs> Inside your head, you blow it. You say it. And then split it out. Okay. Puro. Puro, puro is different, though, by the way. Mm. Puro. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. I never saw that one. Okay, so, hey, like, shikida is like who ordered, yeah, so tell me who ordered to you right away, 빨리, 누가 시켰는지 빨리 불었어. In this case, 그때 있었던 일, thing that happened at that time, I said all of them. I, what happened, I just reveal all of it, all about it. I just... <laughs> Spill it, maybe. <laughs> like if oh, from nineteen forties, expression from the movies in the nineteen forties. Okay, <laughs> very long time ago. Wow. Okay, so pulda can be used like to say everything to you know, not hiding anymore, something like that. Pulda. Mm. But primarily means to blow, like you blow whistle, you blow in, um, play instrument, or you when the wind is blowing, pulda. Will this be safe for watch later? Oh yeah, will this one will be safe, so you can watch later. And 시각, 시각. What does it mean? We have some examples. What about blow out the candle? You can use 촛불을 불어, 촛불을 꺼, 촛불을 불어. You can use both. Uh, Chopper, a candle light,을 꺼, turn off. 뭐 촛불을 불어. Uh, practically the same. 촛불을 불어. But when it comes to a birthday birthday cake, a candle on a birthday cake, maybe this one is more likely used. Mm, but in other cases, maybe both can be used, or maybe simply go. I don't know. But when it comes to birthday birthday cake, then puro is more likely used. Time perspective. Sight vision, exactly. 네, 어, 닉메리님, 정확합니다. Okay, in these three cases, 시각 is like time, time of a moment. This, this, hey, this is the time is in this case 9:44 right now. So 지금 시각은 음, 9시 maybe 44분입니다. Since it's 9:44 in Korean time right now, <laughs> so. 시각, the time of a moment. Mm. Originally, there's a difference between difference between 시각 and 시간. No, originally 시각 is a time at a moment, and 시간 is more like hours in between, like two o'clock and let's say five o'clock. Difference is like three hours different, right? Like two, three, four, five. Three. 시간, 세 시간, three hours. 시간, usually. Uh, usually, 시간 means between times. Usually. And 시각 is the time of a moment. But um, people don't really use this word. Just 시간, 
the word shigan is used in both cases normally mm, just for your information but originally it's different mm. so 당시 시각 the time of that moment is 5 5 it was 5 5 mm. and 막차 last train or last bus mm. so it the written hey where the last train time is written mm. should be written somewhere but i can't find it where is it no 막차 시간 time of the last train time of the last bus so 시각 당시 당일 time of the moment time of that moment we are talking about and 당일 time uh, the day of the the day that we are talking about 당일 I really missed this lesson oh Sakura Nim <laughs> 네. 반갑습니다 and good to see you see you back <laughs> Oh, you really missed. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. And enjoy the lesson together. I oh, hope you enjoy the lesson together. And okay, in this case, 시각. You know, there's five senses. 시각, like seeing, sense of seeing, watching, 시각. Or 청각 is listening, you know, 후각 is smelling, 촉각 is you fell on your skin, and 미각 is tasting. And 조류, like birds. Uh, the sense of watching is developed. Mm, they are very good at seeing a thing. 조류, birds. That's what it means. 조류는 시각이 발달했어. Time of death. Like 죽은 시각. You can use. Mm. Time of something. Yeah, 모모 시각. Mm. But still, 시각 is the not really used often among like people in general maybe in, on TV some announcers say this one maybe like correct like grammatical like, correct words something like that they kind of have to do that so they might say this kind of word a lot but mm, along with the friends or something someone we don't really use that much 시간 just use 시간 instead 지금 시간은 9시 something 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 usually and 시각 like perspective like Ling Medi Lim said here 시각 the review the rate can be different uh, uh, can be uh, depends on the, the perspective okay so Review of persons, review of people is different. Depends on perspective. 시각. So 시각 can be like perspective. Mm. Is it used in more academic writing in professional employment areas? Yeah, kind of, kind of. The 시각, if you are asking about this 시각. And Particularly on TV sh uh, program like news or maybe documentary, <laughs> maybe very professional uh, TV shows, something like that. In news, maybe some announcers, maybe like Good Morning America, something like that. Maybe <laughs> that kind of TV program. A different opinion, or okay, like opinion too, right? on their perspective thank you jeff for looking up for the better translation 네, 시각에 따라 사람들의 평가가 달라 okay my perspective and we have two more words for today and this time 이끌다 이끌다 have you heard of it we have four examples Sometimes they're just different or ah uh, yeah but yeah that's right. And seeing the different translation 
would be very helpful to yeah to understand i think so still still i really appreciate that 처음 들었어요 it's like kind of like 끌다 you know just 끌다 you like to pull or to drag more likely to drag something 이끌다 is more like kind of like uh, uh, 이끌다 usually not really drag but kind of like to drag people drag animals you know kind of like that um, like to lead to some other place don't know if you have a guide to do something or you can be a guide to do something or guide guide to some place some other place like lead and guide to to some other place that is ikilda so napoleon napoleon hmm. napoleon is 군대를 like army he napoleon led his army to and went to a different mountain. Like Napoleon, like 이끌다, 군대를 이끌다, his army 이끌다 to a different mountain. And his leadership, uh, 그의 리더십은 우리 팀을 승리, like champion or just win, uh, either way, 이끌어서 he, uh, his leadership led our team to a victory. 그의 리더십은 우리 팀을 승리로 이끌어서 to lead someone to lead to a place 이끌다. And 대화의 주제, topic of the conversation. 내 전문 분야, my area, my area of expertise. Um, the, the, the area that I'm really good at. Um, 전문 분야. I led the topic of a conversation into the area of my expertise or something like that. Something I'm really familiar of. <laughs> something like that. So, 대화의 주제를 내 전문 분야로 이끌었어. To lead to some place. Like to lead to somewhere. Something like that. 내 친구는 my friend 나를 바른 길. A way to the righteous righteousness you know the path of righteousness i was being a bad boy but my friend led me to the better life or something <laughs> righteousness 네, 내 친구는 나를 바른 길로 이끌었어 so 이끌다 to lead um, to some place Nice 친구. <웃음> 네, 좋은 친구예요. Lead, attract. Oh, attract. It can be. I'm not sure about it. It can be. Attract. Maybe there I need some example about that. Anyway, to lead people to some place is 이끌다. And last word of today is 종합. 종합. Have you heard of it? 종합. 점수 왼 종합 병원. Mm. Let's say this, 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 this separated, separate like the one word. There are eight of it into maybe, maybe one more there, <laughs> nine thing into one place. These were separated before, but you gather them into one place, something like that. Not physically, but still, yeah, 종합. Maybe the first one, 점수, is like score. Mm, maybe mm, your score, math score is about like 70. Your Korean score is about 25, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Just for example, you know. And maybe your science score is about 95. 92 then 종합 점수 like total score you know oh, it's too hard <laughs> 95 92 so 100 okay 종합 점수 oh, mm. it's, it's simply just 
all together 종합 점수. <웃음> I remember the track meaning from when I learned equal da, but I've seen I only seen it as led. Okay, equal da led. Hmm. So, hmm. Anyway, math 종합 all together. 음, 종합 and 종합 병원 like general hospital like something like that. Uh, this is 병원 about no I <laughs> eyes and there's a 병원 about what else skin skin 병원 oh uh, I can't control maybe just like 정형외과 like some when ankle is broken you go there and you fix your like, ankle. <laughs> And that kind of hospital, and that kind of hospital, and what else? Maybe inside body, liver, or stomach. <laughs> I can't draw <laughs> well. Ah, well, in there's a hospital, like they have it all, like this part, this part, this department, this department, like huge hospital, 종합 병원. I'm not sure that's general hospital in English. <laughs> Possibly, probably. 종합회사. Ah, uh, that's uh, 종합회사. 종합회사. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 종합회사. The dictionary says overall corporation or comprehensive, uh, comprehensive company. Maybe comprehensive company. <laughs> 종합회사. That's the exact name of in English, like San Francisco General Hospital. Oh, 종합병원. Oh, very good. 정리 종합 같아요. Ah, 정리 종합. It can be similar in some ways, but still, in a long, big picture, it's different. Mm, 정리. Okay. Uh, sometimes 정리, you this fact, this fact, this fact, this fact, and you put that in one document. 정리, it can be like that in a way. Mm, 정리 is meaning has many different usages, but one one of them is something like that. And, but in this in that case, we don't really say 종합. Maybe 종합하다 verb. Okay, you can use verb 종합하다. Put all together 종합하다. Uh, came like that too. 정리하다, 종합하다. It can be very similar, but still, <laughs> um, 종합 is more all together, like more focus on all together. And 정리하다 is more focus on. This was very messy, but make it neat, something like that. 정리하다. Uh, the, the focus is different. You're welcome, Kevin. Nim. You're welcome, Eve. Eve, Nim. Chongap Iri. Oh, Chongap Iri. It's like in the Olympic Games. Like uh, some country, country A. Like country A won a gold medal in wrestling and in like the 100 meter running. And the other country won a gold medal. In like some swimming, the other country, country B maybe. Um, and what else? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. Like ping pong, like table tennis, table tennis. <laughs> TT. <laughs> and well, just tennis, okay, tennis. And we okay, get three gold medals, and this country has two gold medals. Um, and the other country C has no gold medals, like zero gold medals. Then 종합 1위, all together, country B has three gold medals. And country A has two gold medals. Country C has no gold medals, you know. Like 종합 1위, all together, the first place, ranking first is country B. 종합 1위, in that case, you can use it. <laughs> so, mm, 종합, all together. What is soap opera? In Korean, it's just drama. Drama. 
I think I think drama. So oh, ten o'clock in Korean in Korean time. Okay. So that's it for today. 종합 이끌다 내 네, 시각. 음. 불다 is the one we use a lot. By the way, 다가오다, 다가가다, 다가오다, 기록하다. Oh, think um words. 젊은이 후보. Yeah, that's it for today. So I think most important one is 다가오다 in 불다. I think in my opinion. By the way, so. I hope you have fun learning something new together. <laughs> 네. Oh, you're welcome, Yanne님. <laughs> 아줌마예요. <laughs> 음, 선생님은 매주 웃으면서 가르쳐 주셔서 감사합니다. 예, yeah, you're welcome. It's my pleasure, Kerry님. 오마르님, 감사합니다. 예, yeah, 오랜만인데. 예, 수업 즐겁게 들으셨길 바랍니다. 음, it's a TV daytime drama with continuing stories that goes on for years. Oh, okay. <웃음> 네. 아, 요거 노비아님, 하트 하트 고맙습니다. <웃음> also, thanks to all, I learned something new so much today. Oh, that's good for you. I'm I'm happy for that. Happy for that. 요거 컴 건철아버님. Meaningful time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 네, very, thank you for your good words. 네, and that's it for today. Mm. Oh, and next week is 추석 in Korea. 추석. Yeah, we have to. I, my, me and my wife have to visit some place. You know, there are some places to visit during 추석 holidays. Something like Korean equivalent of Thanksgiving. Something like that. 네, 추석 때문에 수업 없습니다. 네, that's right. So we don't have session next week. 음, 음, just keep in mind. 고향, 고향, not really 고향, but 본가. Okay, 본가. 음, 본가 is like the family before you get married. 본가. So I have to visit 본가 and 처가 식구 Like family of my wife 식구, like family member Family member, 처가 식구들 만난다 만납니다 <laughs> 만납니다 Like I meet, I'll be meeting Like family members of my wife Wife's side, something like that. 본가 is my side. Mm, my wife's side. Just for your information. 네, so. Mm. Oh, 좋은 여행? Yeah, I will. Thank you, Kerry님. 차례. Kind of, yeah, 차례. Very simple, simplified, but still, 차례. That's right. Great lesson as always. Next week is 추석. Happy holidays. Oh, thank you, Jeff님. 네, see you the following week. Yeah, see you on the following week. So, see you, everyone. A week after next week. 음. 네, 그럼 모두들 잘 지내시고 건강 잘 챙기시고 다음에 또 봬요. 네, 고맙습니다.